Okay, uh, I call the meeting back to order. Uh, took a little longer break than I expected. We went back and looked at some things. There were some questions asked during public comment on the uh, filling out of the paperwork and on the noticing and the support material that was provided on the website. Uh, three compared to six pages that were available. Uh, we went back and we reviewed the website and there's definitely three pages on the website. Uh, it looks like the first page got on, there's back pages, it did not get there. So with that being said, we've consulted with our DAG and I, what do you have to say, Brian, on A, the filling out of the document and then B, the uh, posting? And uh, I, know, I know I'm not going to be popular for this, and that's why Ken's backing up, but... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I got your back. <laughs> as far as the filling out of the paperwork, the form, I, the, the standard in Nevada is substantial compliance, which is a legal term that means close counts. And so I don't, I don't agree with the problems that have been brought up that, about that the petition itself is defective. The, the, the problem I do have is, is when someone was testifying, they mentioned that there were six pages, and I was following the support materials on the website and unfortunately it appears what happened was when the pages were copied for the website only the front page of each cop page got copied and the back side did not get there and so since the the notice under the open meeting law is defective my advice to the commission is that they're not going to be able to go forward with this um, because as I mentioned yesterday, the open meeting law is taken very seriously in Nevada, and, and defective notice is one of those things that, that will render the, uh, any action by the board void. And so uh, my advice to them is to not take action, to properly notice it at their next meeting, and then take action. Now that said, the question has come up already as to, you know, does everybody have to come back and make the same public <coughs> comment? And the answer is no. The statute allows the board to take public comment on issues even if they can't take action on it. And so if the board, uh, you know, which I assume they will, well, no, they'll have to. Um, all the public comment taken as part of this proceeding will be part of the record, um, or at least rep, pro probably part of the record. And I, I'm not an open meeting law expert, but I try to be informed. But at least the board will have to take notice of all the testimony that's been given today. And so I apologize, I, I didn't catch this earlier, and, uh, and I, think, I think that's all I have. Okay, uh, with that being said, uh, it's, it'd be not wise of us to go any further with this, this discussion. All the testimony will be recognized. I know a lot of people spent a lot of time and came a long way to give testimony today. So we will keep track of that testimony. And uh, I, with that being said, all I can do is close this agenda Mr. item. Mr. I don't Chairman, even... if I could, I'd like to make a comment. Make a comment, Dave. Thank you. Um, I, I have to tell you, and this was gonna be in part, part of my, uh, part of my, uh, my, my comments uh, while we deliberated. Um, the one thing that I've always promised um, to everybody in this room, if you've been around me, is an open, fair process. And I, and I would challenge any of you to, to take me to task on that. That's a, I've, I've always advocated for that. And I, ha I have to admit, um, it, it is a real shame that, that, we, that we fall short on a, on a technicality. And I understand the legal aspect in that. Um, but boy, if this happened, I want you guys to think about what, what would happen if this happened to any one of you. You'd be pissed. All right? And it, you'd, be, you'd be so upset that, that uh, you wouldn't be able to see straight. Okay? So while we, while we work on this issue and while we move forward, I want everybody in here to think about that. Uh, what would happen if, this, if I were in these shoes right now? And... Uh, um, I've advocated for that open fair process. I think it uh, think it failed us this time. I'm not happy about it. Um, only because I, I think that uh, I felt like we were making some strides forward in terms of uh, of uh, providing people the opportunity to have input and to vet these things out in a proper form, whether we want to talk about them or not. They're difficult issues, 
Um, but uh, I have to tell you, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. And um, I hope to God that we never have this issue again. It's not to have something fall short because of the technicality, um, you know, having to do with posting. I, I hope I hope we don't have this happen again. This is it's too important. It's yeah. too too big an issue. Well, the, the items that the commission had and the items that the county advisory board members had had complete packets. It just was not properly noticed on the website to the general public. So there, there's people working off of different information. And during open meeting law, you cannot have people working on different information trying to make the same decision. So with that being said, I, I, I'm not even going to go to public comment on this. We, this boat sailed right now. I'm not going to. Uh, this one's done right now. We're going to move on to agenda item number eight. Question, um, can we go over some more public comment that was already submitted? I'd asked previously that I'd like to, to hold pu the correspondence on this until now. I might as well throw it out now as part of this meeting rather than bring it up the next meeting. So on that note, I'd just like to note that we did indeed get the correspondence on this through email up till 140 today. We got one from Jeremiah Baisley in against the petition. We've gotten, I, I won't go near over all, all the names of them, but I would say somewhere in the in excess of three dozen of the of different emails. Uh, you no, know, there was a Jalila Bellotti that had some really good points. Some uh, uh, Mr. Riddle, uh, Martin Reventish, Rachel Pizzetti, Jared Lees, Martin Reventish. There's a huge list of people that have sent correspondence on this. And the, and the contents of that, I believe all the commission got and, and hopefully read. I mean, there's a couple of them came in today. I'm sitting here looking on my phone. And, you know, we've even read these. I usually try to read them even up to the morning of the meeting. So we do take this, and uh, we'll take this as part of this proceedings. And gee, wish we could finish it up right now. Thank you. Okay. This isn't where I wanted to end. I was prepared to make a tough decision today, one way or the other. And this. I don't like avoiding decisions, but I don't like getting sued either. <laughs> so. just, just real quick, I want to point out that the next commission meeting is in Las Vegas. Uh, the following meeting in March, that would be the February meeting, and the, uh, the following meeting in March is in Reno. And so just, you know, you mentioned that you were going to bring it back in the next commission meeting. Maybe m March meeting might be better. I'm, go I'm going to, uh, I, since the chairman sets the agenda I will work with the petitioners to make sure that we accommodate them uh, this meeting was in Reno and I will work with the petitioners to say okay because laws under the petition we have so long to deal with it also unless they consent to hold, hold it for another meeting so if they say we they want it sooner we're going to Vegas they say they want to have it in Reno where more people can participate we'll come back to Reno so that decision will be made uh, when we're uh, doing the agenda. So I will talk to the petitioners and, and see what we're doing. Commissioner Drew. Just a quick comment. I, I really appreciate everyone showing up today and providing very civil comments on a very passionate issue. And almost everyone stayed within their time allotment, which is incredible in itself. So thank you all for being here and doing that. Um, I'm extremely disappointed in the technical issues with this. Um, it was an honest mistake. Um, I fully support the chairman's actions. It makes no sense to go forward with an action in violation of open meeting law because we'd all be here again um, following a big, ugly lawsuit to the state. So I don't like it any more than anyone else in this room, but it's the right thing to do, and I support his decision. All right. We're moving on to agenda item number 18, petition for possible action 